everyone, I'm Bria Bone, your Austin, Texas real estate professional with the Bone team. In this video, I'm going to show and tell y'all the Austin, Texas capital. So let's jump right in. If you aren't already aware, the capital of Texas is Austin. So when I say capital building, I mean the Texas State Capitol building. So let's start with getting there. The Capitol building is located in the heart of downtown Austin, and the official address is 1100 Congress Avenue. There are several parking garages in the area as well as street parking. However, there is one parking garage that has free parking for up to two hours. So that is the one that I parked at and that I recommend parking at. The address for that parking garage is 1201 San Jacinto, and it is only two blocks away from the Capitol building. Once I parked there, I walked the two short blocks to the building, and then I entered the grounds through a side gate. I then walked a circle around the building exploring the grounds. The grounds encompass about 22 acres of land and there are 21 historic statues and monuments sprinkled throughout the lawns and historic trees. I was there around lunchtime and there were a lot of people outside eating their lunch on the little benches that are sprinkled throughout as, as well as just walking around enjoying the beautiful weather that we had that day. So that was really nice and I highly recommend exploring the grounds before you go into the actual building. So the main... <laughs> hey bye! They just woke up from a nap so they want attention. So the main entrance faces the Congress Avenue Historic District to the south. However, this is an official entrance and is not open to visitors. If you're a visitor, you have to go around to the other side of the building, which is the north side and enter there. However, like I said, I highly recommend walking around the grounds before you enter into the building. And I highly recommend going to the south side of the building, which is the official entrance because that is like the money shot of the Capitol building and is not one that you want to miss. Also, as a side note, the visitor center is not located inside the Capitol building. It is actually located in the general land office building, which is the oldest state office building in Texas. Hazel! She's being so cute. The official address for that building is 112 East 11th Street and it's located in the bottom right corner if you are facing the Capitol building um, facing the main entrance. If you want to go to the visitor center, I recommend doing that before you go inside the Capitol building. However, I don't think it's absolutely necessary to visit. So if you are already subscribed to my channel, please take this moment to subscribe and like this video for more videos like this. Now let's go over the inside of the Capitol building. Once you enter the building, you'll walk into an open rotunda area, which is underneath the dome. This is my favorite part of the interior of the building, and it is just so beautiful. Get her, bye. Oh my gosh. Hazel. You being so funny. Girls. I'm just going to be playing in the background of my video. As well as looking up to see the inside of the dome, make sure you look down at the floor to see a beautiful terrazzo mosaic. This mosaic has a seal of the six nations that have governed Texas. There are also portraits lining the rotunda of past presidents of the Republic of Texas and past governors of the state of Texas, as well as a few other notable figures. If you do just one thing inside the Capitol building, I recommend viewing the rotunda area and looking up at the dome from the first floor, which is the floor you'll enter the building at, and then going up to the fourth floor and viewing the dome from that perspective. The interior also contains the two chambers of the Texas legislature, courtrooms, office spaces, archives, and more. So FYI, the Capitol offers both guided and self-guided tours. Both are free, however, before you go, make sure you check their website to see if they're running tours and how often. Also, the general visiting hours are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., however, I would also look that up before you go just to make sure it is open. So comment below if you already live in Austin, you're moving here, or you're just visiting here. I would love to know what my audience is like for a video like this. Now for some quick facts about the Capitol building and construction. You can learn more facts and history about the building in person when you actually visit. However, here are just a few key ones and some of my favorite ones. 
So the current Capitol building is actually the third building to serve that purpose. It was designed in 1881, built from 1882 to 1888, and then it was restored in the 1990s. At the time of restoration, a $75 million underground extension was added, as well as an $8 million renovation of the grounds. It was designed in Italian Renaissance revival style, and it modeled the United States Capitol building. However, one aspect that it had that was very unique is that the exterior of the building uses local uh, sunset red granite. The building now comprises of a rectangular four-story building with um, two three-story wings on the east and west side and then the dome in the middle. The building is 302.64 feet tall, which makes it the sixth, sixth tallest state capitol building and one of the few that are taller than the United States Capitol building. Part of what makes it so tall is the Goddess of Liberty statue that resides on top of the dome, which measures almost 16 feet in length. I actually thought that the Texas State Capitol building was the largest of the state capitol buildings, so I was a little disappointed when I found that out when I was researching for this video. However, at the time of its construction, it was designated the seventh tallest building in the world. Obviously, that is not the case now, however, I think that is pretty cool that that was the case at the time. It's also widely recognized as one of the nation's most distinguished capital buildings. Lastly, even though it's not the tallest state capital building, it does contain 360,000 square feet of floor space, not including the extension, which makes it the biggest state capital building in the United States, which um, aligns nicely with the state motto, motto that everything is bigger in Texas. Not taller, but definitely bigger. So comment below if you think you want to visit the Austin, Texas Capitol after watching this video. If you like this video, comment a cat emoji. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Bye for now.